they are coming for you with force and it is happening speedily. You know, I, I'm realizing something and I learned something uh, when I was at church. They said something like, uh, my pastor was telling a story of another pastor who, when they traveled somewhere, they ended up saying things like, when they arrived, they're like, um, I arrived safely. And after that pastor hanged up the phone, started getting attacked to an extent where that pastor felt like they were about to die. But that person, that pastor refused to die. They said the pastor refused to sit down and to sleep or to whatever, saying, nah, I'm up. And everybody there who was witnessing because that, that, that pastor was not alone, they they were screaming, making calls that uh, the pastor is in trouble and all, but the pastor also was being stubborn and refusing, saying that I'm not going anywhere. I know that if I can sit down, I am dead. Listen, that was a speed attack. Because remember, you just made a phone call telling somebody, oh, I arrived safe. Then immediately you start feeling attacked. That is coming against you speedily. And this happens in different areas in various ways. But what we need as Christians is for us to also be stubborn and take it by force. Ask yourself a question. How many times was Elisha told to go back by Elijah? And he refused. Was like, now nah, I'm following you. Up until he had to forcefully take the mantle and the anointing, the double portion of Elijah's anointing. Listen, sometimes as a Christian, you don't have to cry. You cry and you say, God, if you let it be okay, uh, you have to take it by force. You have to be stubborn about it. There are many instances. A wrestling Jacob wrestled with an angel. Was like, I won't let you go. Some of these blessings, some of these things, they won't happen like in a smooth manner. You have to forcefully be prayerful. You have to forcefully stick with the Lord. You have to forcefully hold on and say, no, 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 no. I ain't letting go until I am blessed. I ain't letting go until I see a change. I ain't going to stop praying. If you want those things that I just say one prayer and you, that's what we have Christians like that today who are lazy to pray, which I say, ah, by grace. And, and you can see that their lives are limited at a certain extent, but you did some places, some areas, some, you have to forcefully break through. And that's when you will see God deeper. Moses already knew God, but he was like, Lord, show me your glory. And you wonder what kind of glory do you want to see? You have to seek him deep, deeper, you know? So that is why, stop only so, they came at you, speedily and i tell you likewise resist them speedily resist them by force they came by force and speedily also resist them back by force and speedily i pray any form of attack that is around you right now i nullify i break by force by fire in jesus mighty name amen and of course that's all i had my teachers on the comment section below see you next time